So we have a tricky little slope application problem for our question of the day today. Let's check it out. It says Jack and Jill both own a water fetching service. The table shows Jack's rates for fetching pails of water. Oh my gosh, wow, typo. Let me try again. The table shows Jack rates for pet fetching pails of water. The rates Jill charges for fetching pails of water uh, are shown on the graph. What is the difference between what Jack and Jill charge to fetch 15 pails of water? Uh, what is the difference between what Jack and Jill charge uh, to fetch 15 pails of water? Okay, so I'm kind of lucky here because I already know how much Jack charges to fetch 15 pails of water. According to my table, Jack for 15 pails will charge me $45. So that's nice. Okay. I'm looking for the difference and difference means we're going to subtract between what Jack charges for 15 pails of water. So there's Jack's 15 pails and what Jill charges for 15 pails of water. But we have a problem. Here's my table with Jill's information. And I want to pull this up because it's been hard to see in the video here. Um, I noticed my videos were hard to read. But you can see that here I have what Jill charges for three pills, six pills, nine pills, 12 pills. But guess what? We don't see Jill's charge for 15 pills over here. And so I can't just pull this information off of this graph. I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to figure out what Jill charges for 15 pills because I'm comparing what Jack charges for 15 pills with what Jill charges for 15 pills. So I think what I'm going to do first, my first step, and this is a really good step, and this is why I call it a slope ap application problem, is to find out the cost per pill. If I can figure out how much it costs for one pill, the cost per pill, that's the cost for one pill then I can, from there, it will be very easy to figure out the charge for 15 pills. Okay, so let's do, how can we do cost per pill? Well, what you can do is you can start with any point on this graph. So I'm gonna start right here with this nice little point. And here, from this point, I can see that it cost me $6, that's a six, for three pills of water. $6 for three pills. Now, if I wanna um, transform that into cost per pill, I just do exactly what this phrase says. I start with the cost, $6, and I per it. Per literally means divide. That's why we often use a slash uh, to mean per uh, by the number of pills. That's $6 for three pills. And if I were to do six divided by three, I would find out it cost me $2 per pill. Okay, well, if it costs me $2 per pill, it's really easy to figure out how much it's going to cost me for 15 pills. If I get 15 pills, I'm going to pay that $2 15 times. And so I'm going to take that $2 and I'm going to multiply by 15 to pay $2 15 times. And it'll cost me $30 to haul all 15 of those pills if Jill's doing the work for me. Okay, now let's go back to compare Jack and Jill. Jack charges me $45 for 15 pills. Jill charges me $30 for 15 pills. What is the difference in that? To find the difference, you subtract. And remember that difference is always, 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 always positive. One quick, easy way to assure that it's going to be positive is to start with my bigger number, $45, and subtract my smaller number, $30, and I'll find out the difference that they charge, or the difference for hauling 15 pails of water for each of their charges is $15, $15 difference. Great. If you have any questions about that, be sure to drop them in the comments. I know that was a complex problem, a few different steps going on.